Hi everyone, it's Sandy. I'm finally back here with my final part of my project series. Uh, this is day three of my mini project ideas using six by six papers. So I'd already shared with you guys a day one and day two. And I just want to apologize that it took me a couple of days to come back here and uh, do the day three project. Just had a few little disruptions at home, but everything is good. Uh, so I'm going to go back and just share with you first uh, day one project and day two. And and then I want to show you guys the uh, final uh, project for day three. So this one here is the uh, first one that I shared with you, which was uh, the day one project. And I will put both the videos down below if you missed out on uh, seeing the project and you can have a better look at the project and the tutorial. But this is the first one. This one uses only one six by six paper and it was really, really cute to make, really easy. And these projects don't need a scoreboard either. So these are perfect for those that are beginners to scrapbooking or you don't have a scoreboard. So this is the front and then there is a, a front little pocket here where you can tuck some goodies. There is a flip page with a tuck spot and then there is another tuck spot here with another spot to add some more goodies. And this is just a really sweet little one. So that one was day one. Then day two, um, I share with you another one. And this one needs uh, two six by six papers. And then you can make a little coordinating, a little mini pocket. And then you can add a letter or some more goodies in this one. This was the... Uh, project and I called this one a, a mini double pocket uh, happy mail idea and this one was called a mini happy mail booklet but this one here is just as cute and it's got this closure where I use some tool to close the uh, double pocket and then there is a little front pocket here and there is another pocket in here where I've got stacks of uh, packaged goodies then on the back is a deeper pocket for more of your deeper or larger uh, goodies as well. And these just make really great sweet little gifts for Happy Mail or add to your Happy Mail package or just to add a little simple gift. So they're the uh, two projects. And today is this one here. With this one you can make two different ways, but the same. This one is the... Uh, little project here and I've called this uh, my mini pocket file folder so you can make them in either size uh, you need two uh, six by six papers the only difference with these is this one is half the size of the larger size this one uses um, two whole pieces of six by six papers and this one uses two six by six papers but then you just cut them both in half the uh, way to make it is exactly the same, it's just the width is different. But I'm going to do the tutorial uh, showing you with the uh, smaller one. And I'm going to show you the inside of this one and this one, and then we'll go ahead and do the tutorial. I have also decided to list um, a few of these in my shop as well, if you want to purchase the ones that I've already made with the goodies inside. And I'll show you what you get inside as well. But this here is the smaller one, it is just as cute. And I've got a crochet string to use as a closure. And then on the inside, I've got here a little tab that's to keep the uh, crochet string onto. And this is a closure. And on the inside is a pocket that expands. And then I've got another little pocket in here, which is the same as this one. I just had a spare one. So you could also make... Um, four of these with one six by six paper to place in here if you like and then I also have these uh, note cards with double sided ruled uh, lines then I just created my own little tabs on the top so it looks like these are little mini uh, folders or uh, file folders and then that's the inside so there's room in there for more stuff and then on the back is another pocket and I've just got another uh, paper that I cut to fit inside the pocket and then added one of my little fabric ruffle trim and I just trimmed it off on the end and then I just add a little dab of glue to the end of the stitching so that it doesn't come off. And that's the back. I could go that way. And then you can write on the back of these if you have single-sided paper to journal or to write a message. 
you can use this uh, just somewhere to uh, write some notes and then that just goes in there and this is a good size too because you can fit uh, a tea bag inside you could also fit a gift card and then you've got this little spot here the extra pocket if you wanted to make one to add some more goodies in there and also in the front so this is just another cute little project and you can make two of these with one uh, with the two pieces of six by six paper so you can send off two of these package goodies if you're in a swap so that's a small one and this is a larger size which i really like because i think this would be great as like a recipe uh file folder or you can give this to someone that uh, likes to cook and you can give this uh, as a way to put some recipes on some note cards or you could also use this as a photo album to store photos so again it's the same closure it's just a wider and then on the inside I've got uh, an envelope which I made using six by six papers with the punch board and this will fit uh, a three by three card I've got in here two smaller size of the note cards again they're double sided with lines and then I just sort of uh, uh, what do you call it uh, with the tabs I just sort of uh, align them so that they're uh, not in line so you can see the different prints and then these are the larger size note cards so they would look they would be perfect to write some recipes and then on the back here is the back pocket with a larger size um, paper. Again, you can write on the back or add photos on there. You could also, uh, so this is the pocket. You could also add another strip of scrap paper and glue uh, on the three sides to create another pocket here on the back, if you like. You can also add another one here on the front. So there is a few other good options you can add to the uh, folder. So this is the, oh, so that's the inside. And then I'm just going to put these back in here. And I'm, these, I did trim these cards down just a little bit so that they would fit inside nicely. So I'm going to show you how to make the smaller one. But again, this is the same, same way, just a different size. So what you need, you're going to need two pieces of your choice of six by six papers. So I've already cut mine, so I've just put these here. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to cut them both in half. So you'll get uh, your pieces at three inches by six inches. And we're only going to need two. So this one I'll put to the side and that way you can make another one if you like. But we're just going to use the two. And then you want to cut another piece of paper, sorry, two pieces of papers. And you want to cut that at two inches by two and a quarter inch. So two of those and then another piece at one and a half inch by one and a half inches. So with your two pieces of paper, you're going to want to decide which one you want as your pocket. So I'm going to use this print and then the closure will be this one. And then what we'll do is we'll grab the part we're going to make the pocket first. And if you have a scoreboard, what you want to do is you want your print facing down you're going to line it on the six inch side and you're going to score at two and a quarter of an inch. But in our case, if you don't have a scoreboard, I'm just going to use a ruler and I'm just going to find a two and a quarter inch mark. I'm going to just lay it beside the uh, paper. I'm going to grab the bottom. I'm just going to line my finger on that two and a quarter inch and just go like that. Sorry about the shadow. And I'm just going to bring it up to where my finger is just so it gives me a little bit of a mark on where to fold it and then we're just going to fold that over yeah i'm sorry about the shadow i'm filming this early morning and i've got the light on so i really hope it's not a distraction for you so now you've got that and that's going to be the pocket we're going to grab the other piece and then we are going to also turn this over if you have a scoreboard you're going to score it at four and a quarter of an inch but in our case we'll just grab the ruler again and then we're going to lay it down and we're going to grab the top part and then i'm just going to line my finger at that four and a quarter of an inch and just bring that up 
So you can see I've got a little mark there. I'm going to now just fold that over. So now I've got two pieces that look like that. We'll grab this one first and you're going to want to apply some glue along see if I got my glue come out uh, along this side and along this side just where the score line is or your fold line so get your glue and apply that all the way My glue is struggling to come out, but it should be enough to get me going. And now you want to grab this piece and we are going to place it inside up to that fold line and then just bring it down and then you're going to seal that off. So now you should have your uh, paper like that and you'll have a little bit of a gap there which is what you want and then on the back should be the part for your back pocket just grab this so you can see so that should be your back pocket and then you can corner around your corners here on the closure if you like or you can leave it as is I'll just corner around my one and with this part here, we're going to add the uh, expandable uh, gusset. So with those two pieces, you're going to grab uh, your first piece and we're going to fold it along the longer side. And with the print facing in, we're going to fold it in half. So that's if you're using single-sided paper. We're going to bring these out and then bring it over to that fold line. And then do the same to the other side. So that way you'll create like a little W. And I'm just going to press these down. So I've already done my other one. So you want to do that to both of them. And what we're going to do now, we want to have it so that, let me just see. So I'm going to bring it onto this side. So you want them so that the uh, M or the valley fold are facing in and we're going to grab your glue I might use this one so grab your first piece and we're going to apply glue just to one side first and we're going to bring it and Line it to the edge of the front of your pocket and you will notice that it's not going to go all the way down to that fold line and that's what we want. So just push it down to as far as it will go and you're going to notice it's going to sit out a bit like that and you want that because then it will give you room for your pocket to open. And that's going to stick up a little bit but we're going to trim that shortly. Let's grab the other one and we'll glue that as well onto the other side. So if you have a scoreboard, you can also use a scoreboard, but it's just as easy to fold your little uh, gussets over yourself. And now we're going to go to the back one and add place glue to these. And now we just bring them over and press it down. Oh, sorry, before we do that, we better trim this off first, sorry. Trim that off before we uh, glue it to the back. That just neatens it up a bit. Now I can press it down. And there you have your expandable pocket with your closure and a back pocket.
and in this part here I've got that other little piece that we um, uh, to cut at one and a half by one and a half you're just going to fold that in half this is just to create your own little tab and then you can either corner around your corner if you have a corner rounder or you can just leave it as is if you like I just put some glue to the inside And just uh, center that in the middle and just place it just a little bit above the uh, pocket so that's fine or you can have it overlapping it doesn't really matter I might have it overlapping a bit So that gives you that and then you just punch a little hole here so you can have um, somewhere to place your trim or your string and then that gives you your little cute mini file folder uh, pocket file folder and then you have somewhere to add your goodies so that is the uh, smaller size and then you've got your back pocket here and you can also add another pocket down here too if you like you could also adhere this if you don't want that to a uh, page so this is the same one this is just the larger size um, exactly the same way same uh, height and same uh, for your uh, closure so that was my uh, final day three series project and as i was saying these will be available in my shop and i'll just show you uh, what they look like and what you get if you want to purchase them i will have these ones uh where is the one that i have i will have these ones in my shop as well so you're gonna you can choose either the smaller size and that will be uh the mini pocket file folder and then the larger size which is this one will be the small uh, pocket file folder and what you get inside uh for the larger size so you will get a random print so these are a couple that I've already made I just need to finish off and add a few things so this is one of them and this is another one and on the inside what you'll get is you'll get a little mini teeny envelope and inside are four tabs that I've already made and then you will also get the uh, envelope for three by four cards this is for the larger, the, the small size pocket folder. You'll get two small of the note cards that are double sided with lines. And then you have your tabs. And then all you do is just glue your tabs to your uh, folder wherever you like. So I've left that for you to decide if you want to use these or you want to add these to a different project. And then you get the larger sizes, two larger size of the uh, note cards. And I did have it, which I'll just take this one. You'll also get one of these as well with um, the ruffle trim already placed on your card. And this will also be a random print as well. Oh, there is one here. So that's what you get. So there's a random print. So you get that as well. And also the uh, string to wrap around the mini folder. So that's for the larger size. And for the smaller size, I'll just show you with this one. Oh, so what you get, I thought I had it here, but I have it. But what you get with the uh, mini one, you will get the, you'll get two of the mini uh, note cards with the double lines. You'll also get a random pocket, a random print pocket. You get the mini envelope with two of the uh, tabs to place on your note cards if you wish to do that and then you also get the little uh, card that goes on the back with the uh, fabric ruffle trim as well to go with your uh, smaller pockets so that's the kit for that one 
and then for the larger size will be a random uh, print sorry my hands are everywhere <laughs> Uh, I just place that back in there, which doesn't matter. So that's what you get uh, if you want to purchase these ones in my shop. I do hope you enjoy this series. I do apologize for the shadow uh, around the uh, around the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all soon. Bye.